to a story you saw first here on the Now Detroit. School should be underway until June 20th at Taylor International Academy in Southfield. However, the school suddenly shut down 20 days early, saying it simply ran out of money. Now, teachers say they have just learned they will not be paid about 20% of their pay for hours already worked. The Now Detroit's Kim Russell is live at the school. And Kim, who should be held accountable here? That is the frustrating question so many people want answered. For example, you can see some staff and students are showing up today. They were told they'd be allowed inside today to get their belongings. They weren't allowed in after the school was locked up and shut down earlier this month. And now the question is, who will be responsible? The laws in Michigan set charter schools up so that the state isn't responsible. And those who are running the school, they're all pointing the finger. It was money for those students. It was money for those children. It was taxpayers' dollars, and where did it go? Where is the money? That is the question the former dean of Taylor International Academy in Southfield has. This is a copy of the letter just sent to all staff there. It let them know they will not be paid, and they no longer have medical benefits promised under their contract. My students worked very hard. I worked very hard. And to kind of hear at the last minute that 20% of my pay is gone, is uh, frustrating. Teachers worked 10 months, but were supposed to be paid over the course of 12 months. They say they are losing 10 weeks pay. It was something they voiced concerns would happen. However, a spokesperson for Central Michigan University last month told 7 Action News this. We are committed to assisting the school financially as much as we can. Like I said, if they do end up with a shortfall. So what happened? Former school board members say they have no comment because the board has been dissolved and no longer exists. The management company for the school, Renaissance School Services in New Jersey, told me it has not been paid since November and there is no money to pay teachers. Under Michigan law, often universities are given the role of authorizer. Central Michigan University is supposed to provide oversight to ensure the school is academically and financially successful. In return, the university gets 3% of the school's per pupil funding. Staff at this school say laws need to be changed to ensure accountability for your tax dollars and your children's education. When they can't come to school and you see this happening where a school is being closed down, something is wrong, but you got your 3%. These are your tax dollars. These are the people you voted into office to represent you. You need to start seeking out your representatives and write letters and complain about this because if it can happen here, it can happen anywhere. So what does Central Michigan University have to say today about whether staff at this school will be paid? I got a call less than 20 minutes ago from a spokesperson, and she says they're still working on it. They're still trying to find funding to preserve grants that were for the school so that teachers will be paid. But the fact is the letter the teachers got from an HR company that was hired to take care of their pay and benefits told them on behalf of CMU, you're basically being cut off. So teachers, they definitely want someone to reach out to them and give them some answers right away. Reporting live in Southfield, Kim Russell, the Now Detroit. Yeah, they deserve answers for sure. Kim, just curious, how much money would it take to make it right with these teachers? What are they owed? So I have a ballpark number. The dean of the school, she, she says that payroll is about $35,000 a week. So to take care of everyone, until their contracts would end would probably be about $350,000 to make sure these teachers who dedicated their time to children get the pay they already earned. Back to you. What a shame for everybody.